Good morning, motorheads. Today we're gonna to be doing a quick oil change on my 2008 Ford Ranger. It is the 2.4 liter. This will be the same for just about any other car out there though. So stay tuned. Here's some of the things you're gonna need. You're gonna need your oil, filter, and your drip hand. You gotta get a drip hand that fits the amount of oil that your car takes. Mine says it holds four quarts. My drip pan holds five, so I'm good there. Next step, we're gonna just drain the oil, drain as much as we can, then we're gonna go to the filter, take that out, and I'll show you guys how to do that. All right, so what you wanna do is you wanna unscrew your oil fill cap. Just kinda leave it there so that oil or air can uh, go through and make the oil drain fast. All you want to do is while it's cold, so that you don't burn your hands when you do it. Let it drain out. Then after that's all drained out, we're going to move over to the filter, which is located right next to it. Alright, so now that that's mostly drained out, we're going to get the oil plug. Put it back in. Remove it. it. Shouldn't be that tight. Yeah. I'll let it drain there. Get as much as the oil out, then I'll come back with a little paper towel, clean it off, and remove it completely. Alright, so most of the oil has drained out. I'm just gonna take the filter out of the way. That is it. I'll let the rest of that oil drain out. We'll clean that before we put a new filter in. And then tighten up the plug. Put some new oil on the top and once we get a little bit of oil. Used oil, it doesn't matter. You just rub it along the uh, little rubber gasket here or seal. And apparently what that does is it creates a nice even seal between the new gasket or the new the new rubber seal and the uh, the filter housing. Now these you want to just put on there hand tight. It doesn't need to be all that tight. Once you start using it. Filter wrenches and whatnot. Yeah, you can use this to take it off if it gets tight because of the pressure. But to put it on there, just get it as tight as you can with your hand and call it a day. There you go. That's it. We'll tighten this plug back up. Snug, that doesn't need to be super tight either. Clean up all that area. It'll get pretty clean on here as well. I'll just wipe this down one more time just to. You can tell this needed to get an oil change. It's not too, too bad. Look at the viscosity is still there, but it's just, it's not good for me. I don't like it. And it was a little bit low anyway, so I just figured, you know what? It's, Put new oil in it. It's about a quart low, so actually a quarter and a half. That's pretty bad. So now you get your funnel, your new oil, and start pouring it. And that is pretty much it. That is how you do your oil change on your vehicle. And this vehicle specific is a 2008 Ford Ranger 2.3 liter four cylinder. But it is the same for most vehicles. Granted, your oil filter could be up here. For example, I know, I know in Jeeps, I know in Jeeps the actual oil filter is up here in the engine compartment or somewhere. But yeah, that's it. If you like this video, leave a like. Forget to share this video, and if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you.